Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. Incendio. Revelio. 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 Leviosa, King Gringo, Akio.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Careful of the mandrakes. I haven't fed them yet. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Doors always open. You be sure to stop by soon. It's you! What a pleasant surprise. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And, uh, did she cause you any trouble? Nothing to worry about. I handled it. Glad to hear it. And thank you again for your help. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. What can I do for you today? I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Rebellion. than Hogsmeade.
Surely those would come. <laughs> Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, it's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. Those assignments were... I've completed all of my tasks, Professor Onai. Very well done. Although I must admit, I did have something of a premonition that you would follow through. Now, as you have no doubt sharpened your perception by completing my assignment, I am curious, based upon the knowledge that one's present and even one's past may reveal traces of what is to come, what do you see in your own future? There will be hardship, I'm sure of it. But I see triumph in the end. A measured perception. Very wise. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. And that is why such futures are worth striving for. But this talk of tomorrow should not divert us from your present success. I shall inform our good deputy headmistress of your exemplary performance. 
And if that performance is any omen of what your future may hold, then I, for one, see great things. Channel your magic towards your targets. You have it! Now! Practice the new spell. <laughs> Excellent! I think you have it. At some point, you must stop preparing and put your newly honed skills to the test. Professor, do you have a moment? I do. I was wondering how you decided to teach divination. The art of divination is an important yet often misunderstood branch of magic. Those of us who possess the sight are rare. And, as is often the case with the unique among us, we can frequently be misread, even feared. When I was granted the opportunity to teach others about my gift and the good it can do, I was most grateful. I see. Natty told me that you and she moved here from Uganda, where she had attended Wagadu. Yes, Natsai and I both loved Uganda and Wagadu, but we are happily settled here now. I had foreseen such a change, but did not know the details until it occurred. I was glad of the outcome. You would be wise to remember that the consequences of our actions are complex. And so, divining what is to come is not as simple as gazing into a crystal ball or studying the bottom of a teacup. I'm not sure I really believe that one can see the future. We often do not believe in what we ourselves have not seen. I should hope that you will open your mind. You are a student at Hogwarts, after all. It cannot have escaped you that we in the Wizarding world are forever navigating the seemingly inexplicable. Of course, Professor. Now, I know that we both have places to be. Not because I have the sight, mind you, but because I am a professor and you are a student. I have enjoyed our conversation. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Sings, another mumbles incantations. 
All I can say is, it's lucky the boys have their own dormitories. The mess they make. Let me also, and send you. Wonderful to see you again. Incendio! I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Professor Garlic. A moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> a fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> 
Revelio. Wingardium of your Accio. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. It's a deal. Revelio. Incendio. Rebellion. What are you up to now? Revelio. Revelio. 